amazing how helicopters can fly. Unlike airplanes, they can hover. Have you ever wondered what it's like to fly in one? Well, hold on tight, because there goes a helicopter. Helicopters help people every day, from search and rescue to traffic reporting. Helicopters can go almost any place fast, carry real heavy things, and get Marines where they need to be. They come in all different shapes and sizes, so they can do very different jobs. Hey kids, I'm the helicopter pilot Dave. And I'm helicopter pilot Becky, but we're not real pilots. No, but the real helicopter pilots have agreed to let us pretend for the day so that we can all learn about helicopters and the work they do. So grab your helmets and let's go fly. Come on. The U.S. Coast Guard uses helicopters for some of the most important jobs. They're used for search and rescue on oceans, beaches, and rivers. The brave men and women of the U.S. Coast Guard are real professionals who go to work and save lives every day. Becky and I decided to join the Coast Guard team at the Coast Guard Station in San Diego, California. And right off the bat, we were assigned some very important jobs. I could do if they just let me fly this baby. <laughs> mayday, mayday! Come in, Coast Guard. This is diving golden treasure. Thirty miles west of help, Coast Guard. Mayday, mayday! Person in distress calling the Coast Guard. Please repeat your message. I got a Mayday situation. Everybody is on patrol. The only two people I can send are those new recruits, Pilot Dave and Pilot Becky. Pilot Dave and Pilot Becky report to operations immediately. Pilot Dave and Pilot Becky report to operations immediately. Pilot Dave reporting for duty, sir. And Pilot Becky reporting for duty. Okay, relax, relax. I got your first big mission. Do you think you can handle it? Oh, oh, yes. We've been waiting for this. Okay, good. That's the spirit. Got our mayday call about 30 miles west of San Diego around San Clemente Island. Could be a diver in trouble out there. Heard on the radio something about golden and treasure. Ooh, gold. I need you to go out and investigate for me and report back to me. Right yes, sir. away, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. go ahead. Our first mission. No, I can't believe it. Our first real mission. Do you realize this? Yeah, I know. Our I know. first real mission. Mm. What? I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm no, just, you're kidding. I'll just take a minute. Dave, you can't go just, to the bathroom I, now. I'll we gotta right go. Back. I, got, I don't want to have to go out there. I'll be well, right then back. Then hurry up. You'd have the bird oh, all warmed gosh, up on, by now. Go. Let's go. Pilot Becky. And Pilot Dave, ready for our mission, sir. All right, helicopter's pre flight and ready to go. Great. Let's go. Let's go find that guy. Parking brake. Parking brake off. Nose lock. Nose lock off. Flotation. Flotation ready. Center instrument panel. And she's on. We're ready to go. Let's get this baby in the air. You know, 
Dave, I don't get it. Helicopters are incredible, but they don't have any wings, so how do they fly? This is sure. a bad time to be asking how helicopters fly well, when we're flying one. You weren't you paying any attention in class? Well, I was, but I still didn't explain exactly, you know, how they it fly works. without wings. Don't think about it. Just think about finding that poor guy out there. Okay. How do helicopters fly without wings, you're probably wondering. Well, they use this big fan-like prop on the top of the helicopter. It spins around, and it beats the air down. And when it forces the air down, that pushes the helicopter up. And that's how a helicopter works, basically. But there's more to it than that. Now, this device is called a tail rotor. It's another fan device, only instead of going around like this and pushing the helicopter up, it pushes the air to the side and keeps the helicopter going in a straight direction. If it didn't have this turning, the helicopter would spin out of control. This helicopter is driven by a jet turbine engine. Now, when I say jet engine, you probably look at these devices here and think that that pushes the helicopter through the air like a jet aircraft. That's not the case. This is just an exhaust port. The jet engine turns this big prop up here, and when it tilts sideways, that pulls the aircraft through the air and drives it forward. Now, because this is a special Coast Guard rescue helicopter, it has some devices on it that other helicopters might not have like this hoist. This swings out, and there's 250 feet of cable in there that they can string down into the water and rescue people. This is the uh, remote control for that device, and it puts it in the water. They hook themselves up, and it'll lift as much as 600 pounds. Becky, I want you to check that uh, chart and see where we are. Dave, I don't have the chart. What do you mean you don't have the chart? Well, I, I, I thought I had it, but I must have left it back at the base. It was on your checklist. I know, I know, well, I know. How are we supposed to find this guy if we don't even know the coordinates and we don't have a chart? Wait a minute. We do have the GPS. The Global Positioning System. That's right. Satellite system. That's right. That's right. You know, that's a pretty amazing way to locate yourself. It you is. can tell where you are no matter where you are in the world. That's right. Turn it on. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Yeah, now we know where we are, but where is he? I don't know. Keep looking. You know, Becky, helicopters haven't always been this sophisticated. When they were first invented, they were a little more than a rotor and a stick. <laughs> and they didn't always fly. And they weren't very safe either. But don't worry, he wasn't hurt. Leonardo da Vinci had an idea for a helicopter almost 500 years ago. And people have been trying to perfect the idea ever since. They've tried all kinds of ideas to see which would work the best. Sometimes the idea was a lot better than the real thing like this flying platform. And look at this, it's a pogo plane. When the idea is just right, it's awesome. Like this Huey Cobra gunship. Or this B-22. As you can see, it takes off like a helicopter. But once it's in the air, the engines and rotors tilt forward so it can fly straight like an airplane. Pilot Becky. Yes, Pilot Dave. Have you seen anything yet? No, I don't see a thing. But you know what I've been thinking about, Dave? You know that message? Yeah. All we heard in that message was golden treasure. Yeah, and then it broke up. Right. right. So we're thinking that 200 years ago, all those Spanish ships used to come through these waters carrying jewelry and gold. Yeah. And maybe yeah. they found a sunken Spanish ship. Or one of those ships carrying gold through the gold rush. Yeah. You <laughs> suppose that diver stumbled on a bunch of gold? Yes. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. Hey, and if we save his life, Maybe he'll split it with us. Oh, I'm sure he would, because oh, there'd be so yeah. much. There'll be tons of gold. But you know what? What? We're going to need a much bigger helicopter to carry all that gold. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow, now that's a big building, No huh? kidding. <laughs> We're at the U.S. Marine Corps Station, Tustin. This is the home to some of the biggest helicopters in the world. And of course, if you're gonna have a big helicopter, you gotta have a big, safe building to keep them in. Like the two hangars they have here, which are the largest unsupported wooden structures in the world. Now, these were originally built for great big blimps right after World War II. Today, they're home to these great big military helicopters. So come along, let's go take a look.
This is the powerful Super C Stallion. It's so big, the back end opens up and vehicles can drive right in. It's designed to fly such long distances that it needs to refuel while it flies. This long pipe connects to a tanker plane, a gas station in the sky. These are the rotor blades of one of the biggest helicopters in the world, and they're kind of different than regular rotor blades, which are made out of solid metal. These are actually hollow. If you look close, they look like wings, right? And the front surface is made out of titanium, one of the strongest metals in the world. And then these surfaces are actually made out of fiberglass. The inside is filled with nitrogen gas, and the combination makes a very strong, very light rotor blade. And when it spins, whoa, 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 whoa. It slices through the air and lifts the big helicopter up through the air. This is where the rotor blade attaches to the rotor head. Now, helicopters are complicated machines. This is the rotor head, and one look at this kind of tells you this is a complicated machine. The whole thing tilts on top of the helicopter and determines whether the chopper goes forward or hovers or goes backwards or sideways. And then the individual blades tilt, too. And that's what this does. It controls the pitch of the blade, determines whether the helicopter lifts up or goes down. Good afternoon, kids. I'm Captain Biggs, United States Marine Corps. I'll be talking about the CH-53 Delta C Stallion helicopter, one of the world's fastest and strongest helicopters. This helicopter is capable of picking up 55 troops, but we primarily use it for uh, transporting Jeeps, uh, Humvees, and other uh, equipment to support the Marines in the field. On the right hand, what I've got here is a cyclic. It's used to, for turning the helicopter left and right, forward and aft. And on my left hand is what we use, it's called the collective, used to make the helicopter go up and down. These are what we call the rudder pedals. These control the thrust on the helicopter's uh, tail rotor. This enables us to hover over a spot and do a 360 degree circle. Kids flying these helicopters is the greatest job in the world. You can do it too, all you have to do is stay in school and study hard. Let's go flying. Hi, I'm Captain Lou Villarol, CH-46 pilot with the Marine Corps. Behind me is a CH-46 helicopter. As you can see, it's unique because it's got two head rotors on top of each head. That, that's what makes this unique. You know, as other helicopters have a tail rotor. What we mainly do with this helicopter is carry Marine Corps grunts, uh, as we affectionately call them, point A to point B. Behind us is a CH-46 helicopter, which stands for cargo helicopter. This is really the workhorse for the Marines. It's used for getting troops in and out of dangerous areas quickly and efficiently. And when you see how they do it, you're going to want to go for a ride. This is the spy harness which Marine Corps uses. Basically goes over the shoulders, straps in, they hook up to the spy line, and away they go. <laughs> Time. Ever seen Superman and Spider-Man going around in the robo? That's us right there. If your safety is good, then everything is fun. That makes it this fun. That's why we didn't have to worry. Huey, 
which is a utility helicopter. It's used to carry everything from food to weapons to even the general to the battlefield. Hi kids, my name is Captain Moran and this is my Huey Hog. And we're going to go for a ride now. I got him! I got him! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, it's me! I'm in one of the most awesome fighting machines you will ever see. It's a helicopter. It's the military Cobra gunship. What do you say we take a look around? This is a very unique helicopter. If you look close, you'll notice that it's very, very skinny. And so it has a thin profile, so it's harder for the enemy to lock on target and shoot it out of the air. Now look closely at this. This is a 20 millimeter cannon, a gun that fires very rapidly and is very, very dangerous. Now this is really neat because hooked into the back of the helmet that the gunner or the pilot wears is a mechanism that controls this camera on the front. As he turns his head, this camera turns and the gun turret turns and it locks in on the enemy. The Cobra is really unique in many ways. First of all, the pilot and co-pilot don't sit side by side. The co-pilot or gunner sits up here, and then the pilot actually steers and flies the plane from back here. Now look at this. This is where they mount the missiles and laser-guided rockets, right up under here. Hey kids, my name is Captain Bob Darling in the Marine Corps. I'm an attack helicopter pilot stationed here at Camp Pendleton, California. This here behind me is the AH-1 Cobra. We use it to destroy tanks on the battlefield. Come on with me and we'll see if we can put her through her paces. Hey, Becky. Yeah. Pilot Becky. Uh-huh. I, I, I'm kind of hungry. Where'd you put those, uh, those snacks? What do you mean, where'd I put the snacks? I didn't bring any snacks. What do you mean you didn't bring any snacks? It wasn't my turn to bring it's the snacks. It's your responsibility to bring the no, snacks. No, it wasn't. I brought them the last time. I read it. I read it when we were studying it. That you're the, the co-pilot supposed to bring the snacks. Sure, you always say that. And anyway, how can you think of food at a time like this? we got to rescue a guy and get all that gold. I'm hungry. I need a snack. Oh, dang. Now, my blood on. sugar's dropping. How I am know. I supposed to do a rescue with low blood sugar? How about the water, then? I'll take some water. I didn't bring any water, either. Why was I in charge of the water? Hey, well, their head. Anybody home in there? Quit being such a Did bully. You read the manual before hey, we listen, took off? listen. You're being very selfish. You know what? You should be thinking about that diver and all that gold. Yeah, you're right. All that gold. And what we're going to do with it. You know what, what I'm going to do with it? it? What are you going to do with <laughs> it? I'm going to buy my own island and build my own resort. Oh, an island with a resort. Huh? You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> what? I love helicopters. I mean, I really, really like these helicopters. <laughs> I'm going to buy my own whirly bird, keep them in my backyard, and I can use it to get to school. I'll never get stuck in traffic again. And guess what? You what? can use your helicopter to fly to my oh, island and stay at my idea. resort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell you what. Keep looking. See if you can spot that poor guy in that raft. We got to get to that gold. Sheriff's Department keep all of their helos. They use helicopters for very special jobs like uh, search and rescue missions and uh, high-speed chases from the air and, uh, and and just chasing down the bad guys. So come on, let's go check it out. Whoa. 
This helicopter is called the Long Ranger 2. It'll hold six people, and it's mainly used for transportation and for flying long distances. Oh, <laughs> this is a neat helicopter. Hey, look down here. See that big tank back there? That's full of compressed air. And if there's an emergency situation and the pilot has to land in the water, he pushes a button up in the uh, cockpit, and the air is released. He comes down these tubes into these bags here, and they go Phew! just like big balloons and fill up with air, and that way the helicopter won't sink if it has to land in the water. <laughs> wow! Look, Look at, at that, that helicopter, helicopter over, over there! there. <laughs> this is the helicopter they use when they're looking for the bad guys, and sometimes at night they need help, so they use this big light, which is as bright as day. Underneath the helicopter is this black ball, which is called the FLIR. It's a forward-looking infrared. It's a heat detector for finding the bad guys who are hiding in the bushes. If you'll notice, underneath the rotor is a sharp object, and underneath the helicopter is another sharp object, both as sharp as a knife. And what it's used for is in case they accidentally hit some high wires, it'll cut the wires. The inside of this helicopter is the same size as a small car. But wow, look at all these switches and dials. You have to go to school and study hard to learn how to fly one of these. And over here is the video screen that picks up the images from the infrared camera. Look at this beauty. Looks like a big, giant mosquito, doesn't it? This is the Sikorsky S-58 Turbine. It's the biggest helicopter flown by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, and it's used mostly for rescue operations. In fact, it's used in rescue operations all over the world. Now, this helicopter was built way back in 1959, and it's still flying today. That makes it more than 35 years old. It's older than most of your parents. Let's take a closer look and see how it works. You probably figured out that most helicopters have the engine up by the rotor, but not the Sikorsky. Let's look in here. This is where the Sikorsky's engine is. And there's actually two engines, one side by side. And if you look up here, you'll notice there's two big holes. It's kind of like your nose. It sucks in the air for the engine. Then the engine turns like this, and there's a shaft in the middle that transfers the power way up to the rotor that whirs around and lifts the helicopter through the air. Back here is where the crew rides. There's generally a crew chief that rides back here. He operates the hoist, which is up here. And then there's usually two paramedics for the rescue and for life saving. And if you look inside, you'll see there's lots of room and lots of emergency equipment to save lives. Up there is where the pilot rides, and the Sikorsky's almost nine, ten feet off the ground. There's a certain sequence you gotta use to get up there. The steps are built into the side, as you can see here. Let's see if I can remember what he told me to do. You use that step, and then kind of this step, and then I think you hold on there, and then, well, this is not right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, once you finally get in the Sikorsky, way up here in the air, it's pretty much like most helicopters. It has a stick that you fly with. There are foot pedals you control the tail rotor with. And then, of course, there's a stick on your left side, and that's what you control the up and down motion with. And as you can see, there are lots and lots of buttons and dials. Oh, this is a beautiful big helicopter. I love it. You know, it's so strong it can actually lift a whole car, and it's so big it even uses wheel chocks just like the big airliners do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Stop. Wait. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm Deputy Roger Peterson with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. I'm the pilot of this Sikorsky helicopter, known as the old workhorse. Let's go for a ride.
you get on your own side, please? I'm trying to fly this bird. You know what, Dave? I think it's your turn to start looking and my turn to take over flying. Oh, no, I'm not letting you fly this Oh, really? Bird. Well, you want some of this? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You do have a candy yes, bar. Yes, I do. I, I knew you wouldn't let me down, pocket. partner. Go ahead and take the stick. All right, take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in such a good mood now. I got some food in me. Mm-hmm. What do you say we sing a chopper song? Okay, how about we're in the Coast Guard now. We're in, in the Coast, Coast Guard, Guard now. now. We wiggle, wiggle the, the sticks, sticks, the turns are up. We're in the Coast, Coast Guard now. Helos, helos, what a way to fly. Rotor heads, rotor heads. In the Coast Guard now. Rotor heads, rotor heads. We're in the Coast Guard now. stop somewhere because I've really got to go to the bathroom. What did you say? I got to go to the bathroom. I told you to go before we left like I did. I didn't, I didn't... have to go then and I have to go now and if I don't go I'm going to wet my pants. Oh just where do you expect to go? I where where are you going to go up here? Well, there's no bathroom somewhere. in this helicopter. I know there's not a bathroom but you can't you just land somewhere. I'll tell really you what quickly. this sometimes works for me if I think of other things like a beautiful beach scene with waves crashing on... No, waves? no, that's not a good idea. Think of a forest scene with a little creek going down. Oh, no, 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 that's not a good idea. Let's see. Uh, just, just hold it. We're almost there. All right, there he is. Pilot Becky, you think you can hold this baby in a steady hover while sure. I go down? Jason, yep. prepare the hoist. I'm going to go down and get him. Attention, attention, diver in the water. This is Pilot Dave and Pilot Becky in Coast Guard 1. Prepare to be hoisted up. Repeat, prepare to be hoisted up. I'm going to come down and rescue you. You're in good hands. Don't move. And whatever you do, hurry up, because i got to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. ah. See the white lights flashing? That means they're getting ready to take off or the engines are about to start. Also, always remember that the tail rotor is the most dangerous part. Stay away from that at all times. So until next time, keep, keep your turns up, you rotor heads. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Commander Mike Saylor with the United States Coast Guard. Flying helicopters is an awful lot of fun. If you've ever dreamed of flying a helicopter, I urge you to stay in school, study hard, and stay off drugs. <laughs>